But this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy it at home. We had a great time making it. We got about 30 in that throw. A bunch of jumbos. Wintertime shrimping out of Miami, baby, at his best. I love it. They look like sardines. They look like pilchards. But no, it's the fruit of the sea. The fruit of the ocean. Oh, yes. Candy. Candy. Bambies. Bambi. Woo. Woo. Alright, let's keep it going. We found the honey hole. Sharking with seaweed. We're about to lose all the battery on this GoPro. So we're checking out for the night. We'll tune back in in the morning, show you how many shrimps we caught. We'll get these cleaned, pop their heads, take their shells off, vacuum seal them, and we'll be preparing a dinner for you tomorrow night. So far we have about enough shrimp for I'd say about two or three dinners. We're at about a quarter of this red cooler. When we're done, we should have this cooler filled and have about nine or 10 meals. Checking out from Biscayne Bay. Close up of that mantis shrimp, scary looking thing. Checking out from Biscayne Bay, the old Miami Herald headquarters. Right behind the Adrian Art Center. It was a exciting night. Plenty of shrimp, very thankful for mother nature and the ocean's offerings. We're gone for tonight, sharking with seaweed. At sharking with seaweed on Instagram. See you tomorrow guys, check it out. Check it out. All right, we showed you the fun process of getting these shrimps now we have young Dante Kane Bustamante deheading throwing the tails in here and then he's skinning them and putting them in the bowl show us the process how you take the, the shells off so first you take the head off the head off and we have his helper taking these shells off I'll do so. got young Marco over here you're on Dante's YouTube channel buddy is that okay Mm -hmm. Good job guys, good job. We have a little factory going on here. Look at all that meat. And look at all the shrimps you have to go guys. I think you'll be finished and time to wake up for school tomorrow. Huh? Okay, Bustamante clan. This is Sharkin' with Seaweed, a father-son YouTube channel. And we are making for you tonight Camarones enchilao, enchilao. <laughs> well, in English, this is also shrimp creole. Uh, we're gonna be making it tonight. Not your ordinary um, pairing of rice with it. We're making cilantro garlic rice to go with it. Typically, it just goes with plain white rice, but we're gonna do something special for you tonight. <laughs> Mommy and daddy's uh, cup of wine and here we go this is the first step that we're going to be doing my sous chef Lindy Bustamante will be helping me with this and my big boy will help me when we're touching the flames hi but it's only one year but we just started doing our YouTube channel yes yeah. it's only been one year right I mean no not even a year this is our first cooking YouTube channel we got it Lynn we got this Lynn all right so Lynn I need you, Lynn, to put the cilantro. Okay, so here we go. To, to make the cilantro sauce that's gonna be paired with the rice, we start off with one full cup of cilantro. Put it in there, Lynn. Get that in there. Of course, we drop a little bit. Nobody's, nobody's perfect, right, Lynn? Everybody makes mistakes. Dante, you know what? Can you pass me that olive oil, buddy? Bring that olive oil over here. Can I do this, though? Yeah, of course you More can. More to do. 
Now this is a half a cup of parsley, half cup parsley, and now we're gonna add one half cup of Please, spinach. Okay, half a cup of spinach. And half a cup. And a quarter cup of chopped garlic. Quarter cup of chopped garlic. And we're gonna do this by eye, but I'm gonna add for you about two or three tablespoons of, I gotta do this one then, of olive oil. So here we go. Some olive oil on that baby. One, two. That's about three tablespoons of olive oil. And now we start blending it up. And now we blend it up. Hold on, hold on, okay. Go with it, Lynn. Pulverize it, Lynn. Let them have it. Woo! Good job, Lynn. All right, keep going, Lynn. Hulk smash that baby. All right, stop. All right, we should be good there. This is gonna be paired with our rice and it's gonna go on a frying pan with a little bit more olive oil and it's gonna give you a white rice that you've never tasted. It's gonna take things to another level. So that's our mix. Let's go over, Dante, to our stock. There's no good seafood dish without a good stock. Am I right or am I right? You're right. All right, so here we have about seven cups of peeled shrimp, but only it's the peels, no shrimp in here. Just, uh, you can take over. Well, and here we have seven cups of the peels. And well. Hold on, Lynn. no heads, just shrimp peels. We're gonna go over here to our, to our pot Pour all those shrimp shells in there. All right. We're going to add to that about a cup of white wine. Cup of white wine. We've already added a cup of water to it. I'm going to add another cup of water. Let's add two cups of water. Can I help you? Can I, can I do that part? Yeah, then come. Pick it up. No, no, not this part. Can Just I do touch it? the screen. Wait, no, it's okay. I got my stool. So another cup of water. So now we have three cups of water, a cup of wine, a white wine. Let's do another half a cup of red wine. And that's going to make our stock. Yep. So let's get a top. Put her on medium heat. Put her on medium heat. And top it off. And that will be slow cooking and making a lovely stock for our camarones and chila. Pour in there. Not too much, not too little. Just keep the camera straight. All right, good job. Let's go in there with our rice now. Right, we'll get our white rice in here. Can I do that? Oh, uh, this is a little heavy, buddy, but you can put the, the cilantro and garlic mix. Can I, like, dump it in? Yeah, go ahead. Why not? Good job, bud. Thanks. I thought it was too hard for you. No way. You got it, huh? Mm -hmm. Any chef tells me I'm not too hard for anything. <laughs> All right, Kane. Good job. Father, son. All right, we're good on rice. Now let's get our parsley, our garlic, our cilantro in there, son. So scoop it in there. I'll hold it, you scoop. We got fresh. Go ahead, buddy. Go around the sides, kiss the sides. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, Dante. You're welcome. No, not right now, Lynn. When? Lynn's fired from the, from the team. From protection. All right. Now that. Let's 
stir it up. Pretty soon we're gonna have green rice. Add a little olive oil. Looking good, guys. Our cilantro, spinach, parsley. It looks great, Dad. All right. It's starting to look green as well. That's the idea. St. Patty's Day is coming, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is ready to go. We got our cilantro, parsley, spinach, garlic, rice. Now we're going to make the enchilado de camarón. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with a big Costco Cathlon frying pan on our Miel eight burner gas stove. And we're gonna go to high heat, Kane. So push in, turn and push in. Left, back up. Oh, wrong one, let's do this one. Push in and turn left. There we go. All right, we're gonna put about a half a cup of olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil is very good for you. Is it? Yeah, it's very good for you. It's better. Raw. Than uncooked. I mean, uncooked. It's really good for you. Is it better than oh, other so oils? So yes, it's it's a lot better than other oils. So Coconut oil is better. Um, Grapeseed oil is really good. Avocado. The oils we got to stay away from, guys. Back home, is vegetable oil and canola oil. No good for the heart. Just stay away from it. All right, Dante, we're going to hit this up. We're going to hit them with some bam, some garlic. So over here is our one full cup of garlic. garlic. Hit them up with that, that, that chopped garlic, Dante. Garlic. Careful, careful. Chop her in. Can I do it? All right. Drop that bit. You're next, Lynn. Come over here, Lynn. Lynn's going to hit you up and add for us a full cup of chopped onion. Chopped onion? Yeah, okay. baby. Chopped okay. onion. Going in. All right, back up. Dante here. No, stay here. Now, Lindy, those bell peppers. Trinity. Bell pepper, um, red, yellow, and green bell peppers are all chopped up now. We have a full cup of chopped uh, pepper Trinity, and this is going in. You me. Go, Lynn. Be careful. Make sure that there's not uh, too much oil so that it'll splash back and burn your kiddos but also don't be timid you know with mom and dad they should learn about fire about cooking and by the time they're 10 11 years old they, sh they could cook on their own um, all right so now going in let's stir it up Lindy okay. stir it up break down that onion why break it down go stir it around Move don't it around. touch anything okay it's hot Okay, here we go. Good job, Lynn. Here we go. Good job. So this, in Spanish, is called sofrito. Sofrito is the combination of bell pepper, garlic, and onion. We have some other stuff to add to it, too, though. So that's going good. Lynn, now we're going to add our julienne pepper trinity red yellow and green bell pepper but cut julienne style they're all uniform thinly sliced and this gives a little snap in your dish opposed to just everything caramelized and soaked into the shrimp this is going to give us that snap because we love veggies so we want to taste excuse me can, we, can i do it now? go lynn all right lynn all right Dante's turn time for you to sit down sister now we're gonna go with some Vino tinto from Italia, bella, bella. Vino tinto, one full cup of red wine. I guess Dante wanted to put it inside the fire instead of the pan, so we missed about a quarter of a cup here. But hey, this is fun. We're cooking with six and four-year-olds, so we're having fun with it. 
So we'll take it in stride. So you have your pepper trinity, julienne, and chopped. You have your garlic and your onion. And you have um, your full cup of red wine. All right, now we're gonna add some fire to this baby. Lindy, will you add this spice here? Come, Lynn, hurry up. We're gonna add our one tablespoon of red pepper flakes, Lynn. Add them in and say, bam! Bam! Woo! All right, Lynn. All right, two tablespoons of Tabasco. Bam! Bam! All right, let's go. Four babies, Lynn. Four babies, count them. Throw them by hand, one at a time. Show one, them, Lynn. Go. Two. Go. Three. Go. Four. Bam! All right, Dante's turn. Tag team, go tag him. Tag Dante in. Tag him in. Go, you're in the match. All right, Dante, we're gonna go with some cumin, ground cumin. In Spanish, Cubans, comino. Go ahead, Dante. Right, you gotta have some more sauce with it. Give it a little. Bam. 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 All right, two tablespoons black pepper. Oh, you're gonna do a little pinchy? Ooh, Not the whole thing. fancy. Okay, let's go with. Three tablespoons of salt, a little bit salty, a little high on the sodium, but I put on the dish that you guys back home can put uh, salt to taste. I don't think three tablespoons for the amount of shrimp is too much, but you could always add a little less salt, or if you like it with a lot of flavor, add more salt. Can I stir it? Yeah, now they start stirring it up. That's coming together oh, beautiful. Like green monster. Guess what's almost ready, guys? What do you think is almost ready, Dante? Shrimp enchilada! No, the shrimp stock is almost ready, guys. Yay! All those shells, all that hard work of peeling and popping the heads off, it's almost all ready and coming together. So any seafood dish without a good seafood stock, I'm sorry. People who make a tomato sauce and just throw shrimps into the tomato sauce, that's not a true enchilada. So we're almost ready here, guys. Actually, we are ready. Let's go to the strainer. Mommy, strainer. Strain shells now. The wine, the water. Watch out, son. We had a little garlic in there. Garlic. And watch what happens. Garlic. This is what's going to make your dish. This is what's going to make the dish. Shake that around a little bit. Get all the juices out of there. Stop. Get all the juices out of there. Shake, 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 shake. Go back over here, get this out of our way. And oh, the beautiful, perfect magic to the whole dish is the stock from our shells. Dante, that's where all the flavor comes from. Lindy, the flavor comes from there. Here we go. Now we're gonna add exactly this. Where it comes from. We're gonna add this to our sofrito. sofrito. We're adding that stock in here. Here we go, Kane. Woo! Ooh, not all of it. Beauty. Just a little bit for right now. Such a and now it's time for our tomato sauce. We're gonna go with one can of tomato sauce from our favorite grocery store. Costco. Come, Lynn. You put the tomato sauce. Kirkland brand. Watch out, son. All right, Lynn. Have at it, baby. Hold it from the bottom. All right. Perfect, Lynn. All right, guys. Now step back. It's getting kind of hot in there. It's getting kind of hot here. Never for the chef. All right, Lynn. Back up, baby. I don't want you to get burned. But Dante got to do more than me. Did he do more than you? Yeah, yeah. Dante. I'm seven. That's your whole point. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think we have some sibling uh, feud going on here. All right, so we're going to let this cook down. And when the time is right, the other most important step in making a really good shrimp creole or camarone enchilado is... Do not 
overcook your shrimp. Always keep these shrimps to go into that beautiful garlic, tomato, bell pepper bath at the end. You put it in too early and you're gonna have um, shrimps the size of your fingernail. They're gonna be really small. They're gonna be tough, they're gonna be hard. It's truly a waste of delicious seafood. And we're almost ready for them. Actually, Dante, will you do the honors? I got you. All right, buddy, let's add those. How many cups was it? Let's go, let me see that recipe. Let's go back to our recipe. We had four cups of peeled. Where do we catch them, Dante? At... Where was that spot yesterday? Herald. Behind the Miami, Miami Herald. Biscayne Bay, fresh shrimp caught yesterday by yours truly, Dante Kane. And they're in. And that's it. From here, we're only going to let them cook for about two, three minutes. And we're shutting this dish off. Stir them up, buddy. Two, three minutes and we're shutting this off. We could actually put the top on and they'll cook all the way through from here if I shut it off with all the heat that's already in there. These will cook through if we put a top on and shut it off now. We'll just give it a little more heat just in case. <coughs> All right, we'll check in with the finished product. Dante, okay, guys, this started off at Biscayne Bay where the old Miami Herald used to stand. We cast netted for about two hours yesterday. Got about 60 pounds of jumbo key, uh, Biscayne Bay shrimp. We showed you how to clean them. We peeled them. We popped their heads off. We walked you through all of the little details in preparing this beautiful meal from mincing the garlic, garlic, chopping up a bell pepper trinity, mixing that together, cutting some of the bell pepper trinity julienne. We showed you how to cook it, how to prepare it. We showed you how to make this delicious garlic cilantro parsley rice. And now we're finally going to get to taste the fruit of our labor. I'm gonna give it a taste test. I know it's gonna be good. I've made it a lot. I've made it several times already. Uh, this is actually my grandma Georgina's recipe, but I put my own flavor into it, my own flair. Abuela Georgina didn't use as much garlic. Abuela in, in English is grandmother. My grandma didn't use as much garlic. She also wasn't a fan of spice. I added the red pepper flakes and the Tabasco for you guys because I like a little bit of spice into it. That can also be to taste. You could add less spice or less salt, but this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy it at home. We had a great time making it. Let's give it a taste. Let's get some sauce, some bell pepper, some cilantro, some of that rice. Mmm, delicious guys, really, really good. I had a ball doing this for you guys. I hope you enjoy making it at home and share it with your family. Until next time, Sharking with Seaweed, checking out.